Alright, hello again YouTube! We're back with some more Super Robot Wars. Uh, I did get some from Depth Recorded as promised, but I want to get on with this a little bit as well, and again I'm waiting on feedback on that uh, uh, that ship of ours on the main gun, so if you guys have any suggestions, throw them up. Right, yeah, we're helping the rabbits again. They've been having a lot of focus recently. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they got the leader unit. I know there's something going on, yeah. I think we just have to beat him. Technically, but I want to destroy this and see if we get any bonuses for it being like an extra objective or anything. This is their uh, sort of squadron leader, I guess. Do we have. We do have enough morale for the Super Graviton rifle. Let's go full out on this thing. Oh, we got charge. Oh, that's such a good, le good uh, ability. Unless you like move and shoot. No penalty. Super Robot Soul and. What is it? It is Smash Attack. They won't know what hit him. It's not an instant kill, but it's not going to be good for him. It's, it's not going to be spare it. This is. I can guarantee you this is going to hurt him. I know what it reminds me of. It looks a bit like the Omnitrix. Ben 10? Is that you? Yep. <laughs> Appropriate response. <laughs> ah! <laughs> What's happening? Zoom. Make him even more concerned that we're now behind him. Uh, right. How's the range looking on that Bowman gun? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Can we move and shoot? I have a thin yard through his nut. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Ah. <coughs> I was going to go, ah, but. Are you filling up? Given I've accidentally wasted um, Biggie's turn, I wish it wasn't. I wish you could undo it if you hadn't done anything. Are you filling up to take an Animal Goro warship in one go, Tamaki? The answer is apparently no. But let's throw some extra damage on top of it. I've seen this one a few times, so. Sword. <laughs> Why does everybody want Earth? Uh, I don't know. Are you inhabitable planet nearby, maybe? The power of Tamaki to talk over herself. It's not, um... This isn't Orochi's voice actor from One Piece, is it? Like, putting on a, like, higher-pitched version of his his voice is it it kind of sounds a little bit like him i really i'm genuinely salty i wasted that move i'm so annoyed by that she might even have um charge potentially she might actually have been able to use it there what we will do here i think this is about to smash uh right nope forgot battleships don't get that anymore probably for the best uh, after the nemo incident but it's hilariously busted. Not a kill, but good damage to both. Redeploy where you need it. Um, what have we got there? Two wounded ones? Let's see if we can get one of them. Ugh, that hit rate. Right, yeah, they're evasive, aren't they? The will go. I wonder what lightning does in space. Because, like, with the atmosphere, it, um, it obviously jumps between all the air particles, but I wonder what it actually would do in space. Whether you'd get, like, a direct line. Because there'd be nothing for it to sort of bounce an arc between? I don't know. 
But now it uh, explodes back, guys. Honey, get in there. About that. I don't think you've got a. No, you haven't got charge, so. Have to make do with the, yeah, we'll have to make do with the sword cannon. Ooh. Oh, I was gonna say, what's rule two? I don't think you've even said a rule one yet. So try and fire back, but. Yeah, I say, I don't even know why I watched it, I knew he was gonna miss. Uh. By in fact, it just tells you. Um, Cell, are you fast enough now? Unfortunately, Daguran over here is a little more sluggish, so. Yeah, I guess we just got the, <coughs> the leadership to take care of now, but I kind of want to take out that other one first, so let's have these guys do their thing for a bit. Take out the escorts. Plus, he is actually quite tough, so we will probably do some damage to him. Yeah, Mechal Gurren. He's got a drill punch. I'm not convinced this is not a Gurren Lagan machine. Is that hit two? Oh, okay. That's kind of for a shoot down over here. What is the bike driving on? Maybe an asteroid? Yeah, easy win on that one. We're done, Yuda. He's already he's already down. Right, um What do we just dog pile on? I really do want to get that Oh hang on. Jonah! Jonah my boy! Excellent timing for me to remember that you're here. Uh right. Fine. Oh, can you say it's not going to kill? Man, okay. I'm kind of surprised by that. Maybe maybe that ship's got the, the one that puts the defense up as it gets weaker. We might just leave the rest of the party then and not focus the villain yet. So I want to I want to beat this warship and see what we get. If we get anything. Okay, still only got one attack. Uh, right. Actually, is anyone fast enough to get in there? It's a long... No, they're definitely not going to be right. Not None of these guys are that quick. Um, how hard can we hit that thing if we do hit it again? Hmm, 0% hit rate, you say? I don't think so. Siegfried, seems you're miles away. Might as well use your abilities where it can actually be used. Oh yeah, we can stop him pretty hard then. Yeah. Okay. 
yeah, we can definitely uh, try and make sure you get the kill, shall we? We actually get to the next turn. How much? I'll leave it for now because we've only got enough for, for one more. End phase, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it. I would like Red to get the kill if he can. Oh dear, one of the Wolgaros made a bad decision. Oh, is it because one of these is still in effect? One of her buffs? Yeah, it might be critical for a whole turn, so... Attacking Dove is a very bad idea, and I think the AI might be... No, I was going to say it might be focusing on that. Not today. Great Typhoon. I think it's also a defense downgrade, so... The Apex under attack as well. I thought that was part of the music, but I think that like uh, noise actually. I think it's making that sort of noise. Kind of interesting. Oh, it's a crit, but I don't think Johnny's going to be bringing that on his, down on his own anytime soon. Oh, she's attacking the Dress Vega. He's attacking the Dress Vega. Hey! Don't worry, bits of her. We got there at the end. Okay, why not? A battle for the awareness expert. <coughs> Yeah, go on, take on the Dress Trigger, see how you do. Uh, almost destroyed ship. Rain or Queen, she don't have to be to him. You're already about to do this. Not a lot of damage for the uh the main gun, but <coughs> didn't need a lot of damage. I think you lose a bit on counter-attack anyway, so... I could be wrong on that. Solar panel. A single solar panel survived that blast. I can't lose our flagship. Not here. Certainly not now. It, it's not my fault. It's because the Praxis or Exos arrived and defeated our tactical bads. Yeah, I'm sure they'll believe that. Miserable coward, you disgust me. Leave it once. You don't understand why this hunt matters. Wolgari will be better off without you. Pretty cold, but... <clears throat> okay, we've already got Gao Gao coming in with the support defense, so... <clears throat> yeah, I think we'll have enough spirit recharge by next turn to... do thing again. Make beat cannon. <clears throat> you got to hit him back. Hit him back with your best gun. <coughs> okay. Trying to make this count. For the sake of the Earth, GDF, all my friends, and me. It's time to deliver everyone's excitations, gross victory, and become a hero. You tell them. <laughs> nope, sorry, GR, but we have the uh, power of the foreseeability. I love the chainsaw. <laughs> it's a gun with a saw chainsaw. I know Gizzle did it already, but this is cool. This one's a giant robot. <laughs> okay. Here's a good turn. Uh. 
curious. Did anybody ask an asshole to do that? No? Nope. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can finish this off. One off as a group effort between these guys. Mm, not like that, you're not gonna. <coughs> so these Sarubas, I think, struggle to get in range this entire fight. Not too... Oh, not much time to get a beat on these guys when there are this many of them. Either way, my out's about to skyrocket. To one. If you get a kill, which it doesn't look like you're going to. Yeah, that one hurt him. A bit closer. Now is the time to use it. <coughs> well, it probably would have been earlier, but. Okay, you can analyze him. Blue, I think, will be able to soften that for the final blow. <coughs> Oh no, you can get the final blow. Uh, you know what? I keep ragging on blue. I'll give you this. You get yourself hit, it ain't my fault. Because I've seen these certain shoot downs not always work at 100%. <coughs> Mind you, that's the. I think it's more the Switch one. I think the, this one's been a bit more reliable on that. He's gone, but I can only assume he's run away. I don't think we can actually finish him off here. <coughs> yeah, sea boost? Huh. It appear I have a formidable foe in my hands. White Wagara was withdrawing. We can't let it escape. Ah, so he's going to chase it. Very good. If you turn to me with your dignity on the line, I will turn the favour in kind. Oh dear. There. Zero. Run for it, Zero. No, I just need an opening. Oh. That light. The jury system is fully operational. What's going on with Red 5? I should say. Is it something fancy? It's transforming. I don't even say anything, that was amazing. Very nice animation, I do like that one. <clears throat> yeah, agreed. <coughs> now we're talking to Zero. <coughs> oh dear, sorry about the cough. Push arms to shove, shove hard. Watch it, Zero, that, pack, that prick's still alive. What? A a Karandana Daiti? That was fun. Alright. Can we meet again, primitive creature? Oh, they're running off. Logar are retreating. Mission accomplished. Barely. We have Red 5 to thank for that, I think. Why didn't they deliver the coup de grace, though? I should find that crazy. It probably just ran out of energy. He said there was a human in there, and they spoke, too. That's the true nature of the Wolgaro. Oh, I guess they couldn't hear them. They kind of look like the girl I met in the hangar, too. Captain, incoming message from Captain Tomin. Most of Operation Thunderbolt's main fleet was wiped out. What did you say? Our efforts spared the fleet from Wagara pursuit, but our surviving forces are currently fleeing the sector. Oh, they screwed up the main battle. God damn it. <coughs> the drag crowds have been ordered to rendezvous immediately to assist with the aftermath. 
They believe it, even though we won. The main fleet still got crushed. Oh, they did still win. Okay, they did still win. They just took a lot of damage from it. So it tells me the war with the Wulgari is going to get worse before it gets better. Captain Mitsubo, assemble the members of the Dry Crowds before we rendezvous with the fleet. Right. A critical information to relay concerning our future trajectory. Rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb. So the Dry Crowds won, but the main fleet got clobbered, huh? It's a pretty big blow to the GDF. Does that mean the Wulgaro got to swoop in on the Earth? What's the goal anyway? The wholesale slaughter of humanity? Is that a reference to... Isn't that a line in, um... Uh... Flippin'... War of the Worlds? Or the sequel, I think? I'm not quite sure. Sounds like no one's really sure. No fretting. If they attack, we beat them back. Plain and simple. But what happens is Zuru's been acting a little off. Did something go down between you and that white Wulgaro? I saw something I shouldn't have. Don't tell me. Ghost? Was it a ghost? Yes. Well, <coughs> you can listen to the others and you'll be charged with leaking state secrets. Captain Suzukaze? I get it. I don't like it either. Rest easy. There will be a full explanation. Explanation? Did he... Did they not know there were aliens on board their ships? Like, sort of a shit that was obvious. Oh, mind you, maybe not for the little guys. They seem to be drones. Anyway, thank you for gathering here, Dry Girls. So to keep you waiting, Captain Simon. Or Simon, I'm not sure which it's supposed to be, but I'm assuming it's Simon, given it's Japanese. Uh, those not present will be able to hear you through shipwide broadcast. <clears throat> That's Simon Gatto, uh, commander of MGP. He knows Commodore Fikes, that's why the rabbits got sent to the dry grails. They may have your attention. Did you know the Federation fleet comprising the heart of the GDF forces suffered serious losses during the Battle of Serres? I guess he said it goes a report and a pep talk. We expect the Dry Crowds, including Team Rabbits, to play a larger role in the operation to come. Is that because we're all that's left? Uh, to show your preparedness, we wish to ensure you possess crucial background info on the Mulgaro. I wonder what... The thing I'm about to tell you is top secret. Speak of it to anyone outside this room, the consequences will be dire. Like, firing squad level dire? First, take a look at this. Footage courtesy of Red Fire's main camera. Is that the White Mulgaro's pilot? You joking? The Mulgaro were human this whole time? You say said to go Zuru Zuru. They're not human, or rather not Earthlings. They're similar, certainly, but in every sense they're alien life forms. Okay, so it isn't a humans from the group, then. It means we've got another batch of humanoid aliens to contend with. Being from another planet, they sure do look like us. Yeah, that seems to be like a running theme. <laughs> What's that supposed to be, dude? So you can say the same thing about us. To be fair, it's pretty mind-blowing that you guys are virtually identical to the Pentagonans. The guy in the white robot is a total bad guy material, though. Really? I think he's hot. Tamaki, please. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and he's trying to kill us. What, you just fall for anyone? I wouldn't say that, but... Oh, maybe, actually. Mm. Mm. Gotta make sure she doesn't get close to Dava. <laughs> it's still your man. I, I really don't think you have to worry too much on that. Zuri, you've been acting a little odd since the battle ended. Is that because you saw him? Yeah. Looking back, it's not just the pilot's appearance that's similar. The way his machine moves is similar to ours. Only natural, given they employ their tech. Ah, they're based on them. That's not that weird, guys. Come on. They mentioned it, they do use unique technology compared to other Federation machines. Source of our information gave us two key pieces of data. The first was news of the Wulgari's invasion. The second was the core technology used by them. Ah, okay. I'm not calling them the names because I cannot say it easily. Uh, all the machines piloted by Team Rabbits were developed using that tech. Wait, so we've been piloting Wulgari machines this whole time? Fundamental designs of Wulgari, they were modified to accommodate human pilots. NJP members are also responsible for developing the jury system. How did that info make it to Earth in the first place? Through Wulgari defectors. Ah! Is that who she is? Okay. She's explaining the rest in detail. You may enter. It's gonna be her, isn't it? Yep. Teoria. Pardon me. Wait, I don't know you. We meet again. You're the one who told us how to build them? Draw me closer. Yep. That won't be necessary, Daniel. He's not hostile. Yep. Come on, my dude. <laughs> In a military briefing. Certainly, but... OMG, another hottie, Tamaki. You don't have any other mode, do you? Not that Saruga's one to talk, but he's right. Um, <laughs> what was it? You're out of line, but you're right. Uh, allow me to introduce our defectors. My name is Tiro, and this is Daniel. Also, he's one as well. And then Stoneface here. He accompanied me during my escape. So he's taken? Ignore her. You may continue. <laughs> Thank you, Susie. Uh, they didn't look after me long before I fled to Wulgaro. 
I'm a member of the Wagaru. What would you call it? An Anglate nobility, says an accurate enough translation. Her ranking Wagaru family, yeah. She had a real silver spoon upbringing, huh? He does have that kind of air to her, yeah. Not that they know anything about alien royal families. He's an herbal heiress? Yeah. <laughs> Sagi, I'm with you on this one. Be quiet and listen. Uh, I wanted to speak to all of you about the Wagaru and uh, AHSMBs. That's why I don't say them, because it's just awkward. Directly, that's why I'm here. Sounds like we're going to get some answers. Ugaru is a planet in a galaxy far away from the Milky Way on Earth. Fun fact with the Milky Way, by the way, it doesn't look like the image you always see of it. That's actually like a nearby galaxy because, of course, they can't take a proper picture of it because nothing we've actually sent out has gone anywhere near far enough to send an image of it and also would have to transmit it back. Uh, I think the, the galaxy they use as an example for the Milky Way is like they reckon pretty close to what the shape would be, but yeah, the, the image of the Milky Way is not actually the real Milky Way. It's another galaxy. I can't remember off the top of my head which one, though. Uh, we've existed since long, long ago. We've already been... Oh, we're bleh, and we have already begun to decline biologically. If we do nothing, we will lose our verve and vivacity as a species. Our DNA will degrade, and in time, we will perish. Are you having some kind of biological problem, then? All research into artificially expanding our lifespans ended in abject failure. We were forced to try something else. So, to experiment, artificially manipulating our DNA and sending it... In, oh, seeding it in locations across the cosmos. Oh! Is this not what Wolgaru look like normally, then? Is the idea that they've, like, built a bunch of, like, like clone species, almost, like, based on Wolgaru DNA and the host? I hope was that our genes would adapt themselves uniquely to the environments of distant worlds. So is the reason they look like humans because they are partially based on humans? I'm gonna assume that's what she's saying in this case. From that diaspora? Okay, I'm uh, not entirely sure what that means, but I have vaguely heard it before. Species with a genetic makeup capable of stemming our slow and steady decline would appear. So in a sense, you created life across the universe. Does that mean the hand of God spoken in Muralai Mithril Garu? They see life on Pentagonal world? Also, uh, is humanity itself meant to be based on them? Mm, don't know on that one. I cannot say. At the time, there were several civilizations that all had been granted intelligence in the same manner. In any case, the plan was success. See, the DNA took up root, thriving and evolving throughout the universe. Which brings us to the present as we collect that genetic material and use it to preserve our lifespans. Spatial passages to see the planets, they evolve appropriately, we collect them. They're pouring a lot of resources into Earth on, resources into Earth on an off chance, aren't they? We we're already aware that useful genes had developed on the Earth at the time we made the decision. Also, they're literally trying to steal the genes from humans. Oh god, this is the, um... I was about to say, Bondi's basics. <laughs> I'm getting, um... I'm getting the school one. Bonzi buddy and Bendy like confused and I have no idea how I did that uh, so it's because beings craving destruction were already interested in the planet the beings craving destruction I understand you call them invaders what once these beings craving destruction hunted the Wolgaru however they moved on once our race began to falter which creatures are those we'll get back to that in a second I'm sure our conclusion was that they target species of great power to further their own evolution. Well, get a raise makes sense. So that's why the invaders started attacking us? Never thought they were just a bunch of ugly freaks. Oh, they're the sort of lumpy guys with the black cells. They're the get a robo guys, I think. Uh, old villains. See, the invader attack ten years ago brought the Wulgaru here too. Indeed, they naturally identify strong races, so we use them to help select our targets. That explains the Wulgaru's invasion plans. This act is recurred, referred to as Shikara, the hunt. So the Wulgaru see us earthlings as mere prey to be hunted? This is no different for a fishery preserving its populations by releasing fry into the water. Fine, guess that means we were born so only the Wolgaru could hunt us. It's more complicated than that. Apparently the people of Earth have, through genetic fusion, become truly unique life forms. The powerful genetics have made you a mark for the Wolgaru, that much is true. There are those who, of us who oppose such wanton slaughter. My mother was one such individual. Huh? She saw the Wolgaru eradicating entire species to preserve themselves and her heart began to weep. Began to weep. Uh, whatever purpose gave them life, the life forms that evolved out of our DNA now had futures of their own. To tear that away from them could not be forgiven. Damn straight, we're not food for space aliens. Agreed, they'll have to pick another species to push their one sided logic on. It's only natural you'd feel this way. I sent out on a secret mission from my mother. I was to inform the Earth of the Wolgaru's impending invasion. Well, you're a. Actually, I was going to say she was late, but they did build the robots, so actually, maybe maybe that's kind of worked, I suppose. Uh, and provided with a plan to oppose them, a countermeasure. Yep. Okay. We first established contact with her shortly after Angie P was established. 
Man, it's trained humans capable of living in space. Ah, okay. Federation back plan to breed Cyber new types. Oh god, it gets more complicated. Uh, with the news of the invasion, their goal shifted to combating them. Okay, fair enough. Natural fit. Yeah, because they're ready for space already. Okay. Project was split. One half for weapons, the other for pilots. Okay. Hit setback after setback. Adapting Wulgari's science to her own needs is remarkably difficult. The jury assisted that made bridging that gap possible. And they only just finished it. NDP under my leadership was formed to put that technology to use. Yeah. Yeah, oh god, it's so long. I get it, but I need to say only a few, a select few are privy to this information. I need to get a drink between episodes. It's not nearly done, but I want to get through this dialogue. Uh, what makes us worthy of being in that inner circle? An individual in Red Fire's follow footage could be heard saying the following. That was fun. Until next we meet, primitive creature. It appears this statement was directed at Red Fire's pilot. Me? That's not all. Dry Prowls was also the only force to put up a fight against the Wulgaro during the Battle of Serres. You don't mean... We'll pray for the Wulgara now. As expected, the Wulgara's goal is to collect the genetic material they view superior. Coming battles against the Wulgara, your squadron will be key to breaking up and manipulating their forces. You don't need to sugarcoat this with Wulgaru bait. It would be decoys for far more than Wulgaru, if I had to guess. What's that supposed to mean? I'll discuss that after we rendezvous with the Federation fleet. Uh, yes? Do the Wulgaru know that Tiara and Daniel are on Earth? I believe so. Step down the video, the pilot of Fort Izuru. Gia. Yeah, that is his name. He kind of resembles you, Tara. Does he now? Uh, when we were admitted to Glanz here, Academy, our memories of the past were wiped, so. Wait, what? Seriously, Zuru? Did I not mention this? Do you need to ask seeing those reactions? The world found out public opinion would turn against the MGP in an instant. Uh, are you guys cool with that? Doesn't matter what we think, it's what it is. Unless it's never really been a problem. You guys sure are positive. Some people say all I have is positive. No, what Team Rabbits has is strength. Okay, but to get back to my point, why do I feel like I know you from somewhere, Tiara? We were once close companions. You might even say we were friends. Now, we provided you with technology. We can say no more than that. Sharing information is dependent on freedoms and privileges granted to the princess. Yeah, that doesn't sound suspect at all. He's definitely not hiding anything. Uh, I'm so sorry. When One day when I'm given permission to do so, I had to speak at length about this. By who? The MJP? You're all on the same side. Okay, sure. Looking forward to it, Zero. Okay, so there's definitely something suspect going on there. Captain Mesiba, incoming transmission for Captain Comey. Sounds like he wants to use the Dress Dragon's hangar for, press, for the press conference. Oh, God. Press conference? For what, Captain? The future of the Dry Crowds is about to be decided. Oh, we're going to get a branching path? Is this our first branching path for this game? Oh, God, it keeps going. No, we're going to cut the episode there. I need to get a drink and, and pause. See you guys in the next one. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Goodbye.